I like to say, with all sincerity, that when I started recording this and thought to record it, I did it to mess with you while you're doing whatever you're doing and not thinking of me. Wait, of course you're thinking of me. <laughs> Lilies adorn the garden outside. The yellow glowing brightly signifies initiation of the day. Nothingness exists blissfully, meaning nothing separates us, not space, not time. A pile of fabric that once covered our birthrights, ignored air even struggles for breath between us. Never has a woman been so beautiful. Fierce rival with sun, moon, stars, the very universe. Mortal man has never been this blessed, save for having and helping create life, but I am. Mandarin, canary, and lime dance in the scenario, adorning this rendezvous. Thankfully, us here be perpetual. The inhaling of womanly scent. Touching your soft skin, tasting the fruit that is your lips, hearing your voice, looking into the oceans deep that be your eyes. All of this is the experience. So sexual. Pizzle. My poem. <laughs> Do I have your attention now? It was actually rhetorical. Just nod your head. I need you to understand that this is more than poetry. You are more than the listener or the reader. In some plane other than this one, you and I both know you belong to me. <laughs> My character be the killer shark, swimming your waters, avoiding and looking for blood. Perhaps if my bite hinges on right spots will cause your Bermuda Triangle to flood. Your ocean be deep and wide, I swim farther in its depths and faster. Tsunami you try to drown me in, and though I be long, strong and swift, I wish not to swim away, only I let you take my form in, beware my resolve and shark grin. Sweets be my Achilles heel, but your chocolate cake mm, is too much for the palate to feel. So moist, no choice have I at all once you are spread on my plate. Damn the appetizer, damn the entree. Let the dessert of you be above instead, so hunger orgasm need not wait. Icing initiates its lingering. While to fully taste your insides, find myself fingering, could eat slices of you whole. No. Wish to remember each bite, each slice, knowing that each be better than the last. Well, yes, I'm aware the chocolate cake usually is an evening snack. But can I have your cake again for breakfast? <laughs> You wipe the sweat off your brow, still I remain. Now covering again your forehead along the shoulders and breasts. Wipe again in secluded spots like sensation of touching both self and me. Passion heats up inside, translating into more warmth on your surface. Intent was to cover you with my affection and longing as sweat and fulfilling that purpose. Perspiration now travels to your thighs. Trying to cleanse, wanting to feel, you touch your thighs. Overcome by metaphor, you be horizontal, spreading and opening yourself wide. Allowing this character to rise. Metaphor. From the confessional heart of a man. My poem. I can see you, your head moving, feet topping, tapping, excuse me, <laughs> feeling 
a certain sort of way, right? <laughs> I got you right where I want you. <laughs> I got you right where I want you. But seriously, you're, you're getting a little aroused, aren't you? You're feeling it, aren't you? Good. Good. Let's finish, shall we? Roses are red, violets are blue, a simple rhyme just for you. Simple as a blind man walking blindfolded in pitch darkness while trying to find his way through a labyrinth's maze. Circles drawn around your Bermuda Triangle take your position from vertical to horizontal, and the red of the roses, the blue of the violets now form a cloudy purple haze. As I examine my hand drenched with you, I question whether I've touched the bottom of a bottomless well fully filled. I lick each of my fingers, palm, knuckles to savor the succulent taste, wondering if femme fatale fulfilled. This be a simple rhyme, love, so do not worry that your motor skills no longer under control. Mind blanketed blank and your vision blind blurry, perhaps pulsating. Not used to tremendous torrents arriving, coming in a furious flurry. Now if you grant a poet permission, I step away from my poem for an intimate intermission. Gratefully, I initiate intense intrusion and begin left hand on small of your back, right hand controlling cuffs your chin, smirk on my face, breath escapes your lips as poet unmetaphorically slides serpent in. My nether region now aligned perfectly with your spine. Six strokes renders you breathless, but you need not tell me. I know that it's mine. Truest words the greatest poet has ever spoke. You are only in need of six strokes because one stroke equals a hundred strokes. A hundred strokes last ten minutes and you have said Yahweh, Allah, Buddha, and God a thousand times. And only an hour. Have I been in it? Back to the poem so we can finish. A simple rhyme to massage mental and caress carnal chasm. Roses are red, violets are blue. A simple rhyme from the Book of 24 Orgasms. Peso, my poem. I know you've enjoyed this time we spent together. And I certainly want you to enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> How's it feel? You're a little perturbed, aren't you? <laughs> bothered, as in hot and bothered. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Woo!